Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Friday, October 19th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily videocast. Let's begin today with news of the cancellation of sitcom Animal Practice on NBC. Now, look, this comes as no surprise. It could not anchor Wednesday. NBC decided to cut its losses. It's bringing back Whitney on November 14th. And I think the lesson to be learned from the cancellation of animal practice is do not do a sitcom that features a monkey. It doesn't work. Yes, Friends succeeded with Marcel the monkey in season one, but Marcel did not do that many episodes and ultimately left. If you think back historically, can you think of any comedy that has succeeded with a monkey? We had the Hathaways. We had me and the chimp. We had a little ditty called Mr. Smith. They don't work. Dramas, maybe. Doctari on CBS with Judy the Chimp aired from 1966 to 69. So the moral of the story is don't do comedies with monkeys. Okay. Now let's go to an item on General Hospital. I've been updating the numbers for you every week because, look, it's in a new time period. It's in season 50, and it is on the endangered list on ABC. General Hospital is still up year to year. Um, Not by much, but it's still on the plus side, and I still think it's worthy of remaining on the air past season 50. What is interesting about um, the networks in daytime, I did an update today for you on The View, The Chew, and The Talk. Now, The View on ABC still dominates. That's not going to change. But year to year, The View is down, and versus one year earlier, The Talk on CBS remains up by double digits. So The Talk has clearly narrowed the gap. At this point, the chew is close to year-ago levels demographically, so that has also settled in. Now let's head to cable for American Horror Story. It opened up its second season this past Wednesday, themed Asylum. It opened up with a record 3.78 million viewers. It rose to a record performance in all demographics. Won uh, the day on cable in a number of demos, and I have the update for you on our newsletter today and at our website. This is very, very good news for American Horror Story Asylum. If you are a fan of a drama called Copper on BBC America, The cable network has issued a second season renewal, 13 more episodes. That's three more than season one. This was its first regularly scheduled scripted series. It performed very well, opening with a record 1.1 million viewers. Now let's go to Travel Channel. Rocker, Brett Michaels, has signed to do a half-hour series. I believe it's eight episodes. It's called Rock My RV with Brett Michaels. It will feature Michaels traveling around the country. Um, refurbishing RVs and making them into mini mansions, which apparently is a hobby for him. Listen, we all have to have our hobbies. Now let's talk about Nikita. That's coming back today or tonight on the CW opening season three. Had the CW been in better shape, Nikita would not have been renewed past season one, but they need programming, and this is leading out of America's next top model, College Edition, which means it will not have a lot of leading support. Tomorrow night on HBO, this is interesting, there is an original movie called The Girl. It will tell the story or the strange tale of Alfred Hitchcock and Tippi Hedren. Tippi starred in Hitchcock's The Birds and Marnie, and she claims they had a very strange and creepy relationship. So check it out. I've watched it. It's dark and unusual and worth a glance. And today in TV history, I have to mention two items. They are both celebrating Episode number 100 on this day. We have Camp Classic Batman reach the 100 mark in 1968. The villain on that day was King Tut. And then we had sitcom Perfect Strangers on ABC reached 100 episodes in 1990. Perfect Strangers, of course, spun off Family Matters. And in terms of King Tut, I thought he was a great villain. However, the whole storyline of King Tut getting bopped in the head, he's a professor, he gets hit in the head, he's suddenly King Tut. That wore thin after a couple of episodes, let's be honest. And that is our daily video cast from TV Media Insights on this very soggy day in Manhattan. I hope everybody has a great weekend, and I will be back with more news about my favorite medium, television, on Monday. Signing off, Mark Berman.